Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Kia and this is your best place for natural hair, lip vlogs, and reviews. Today's video will be a natural hair empties video. This is my first time ever doing one and I have saved up my empties for you to see. So if you are interested in natural hair, you're interested in seeing what I use, that's the one thing I love about empties videos. You get to see what people are really using because in order for it to be an empty, I also have a pile of products that I will not be using. So they will be going in the trash. I hate to be wasteful, but I'm getting rid of them and I'm probably not gonna use them again. And then I also have some that have expired, kind of. So sit back, relax, or stand. And <laughs> definitely um, give me a big thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to the girls because we are growing. Let's jump into some of the empties, okay? So I'm gonna have the most wild looking container go first. I was doing those hair paint wax that I do and it got all over the bottle. So this is pretty embarrassing, but this product is the J Organic Solutions Argan Oil Hair Mask. And so this product, it has keratin protein and Moroccan Argan Oil and vitamin B5. This product also has no sulfates, parabens, artificial color, mineral oil, alcohol, and sodium chloride. So none of that is in here. This is an empty, I enjoyed this. I'm a big fan of hair masks and deep conditioners. My hair just loves that kind of stuff. It brings my curls to life. So J Organic Solutions, yes, yes. The next empty is from Vone Hair Care and this is the UC Boba and Aloe Conditioning Mask. I really hope I said that right. But I have had the opportunity to work with this brand and just see the founder, Nia, just completely take off and flourish. Her products are now in some stores, I know in Virginia for sure, but um, this is pretty much the good stuff. She specializes in organic products. This conditioning mask, I'll just, I guess all the products, I'll just go ahead and read like the first three ingredients just so you have an idea what the base is. But this one is organic aloe vera, organic UCU bar, butter and then cocoon butter i feel like i said that's wrong but pretty much it's organic it's the high quality exotic butter so if you're trying to be a material girl you want this <laughs> because oh and look i cleared this one out like look at this oh my gosh i think this was one of those where i stuck my hair in the container just trying to get everything out i love vonay and i also have a coupon code for vonay i'll put that on the screen the next is i have a baby 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 container and this is from mystique naturals for black friday they had some very good deals and I went ahead and picked some of their products up because I've always wanted to try it. If you know me, I'm a huge fan of temporary hair color and black owned and good reviews and good customer service. I am there, okay? So this was the baby blonde color. So it looks orange. But um, when you put it on your hair, it was like a blonde color. It was strange, but cute, okay? And that's all we care about. 
I mean, we care about other things, but for the hair colors, we just want it to be cute. On to the next product. This is from The Main Choice. I love them. They're like one of my dream companies to collaborate with, but yeah. The Main Choice, this is their Type 4 and Proud Hair Type 4 Leaf Clover Manageability and Softening Remedy Mask. Infused with biotin and vitamin D and E. That was a mouthful, but it was worth it. So again, cleared this thing out. And I think, I mean, I have a little tiny bit, but not enough for me to do anything with. But this had a very unique smell. It wasn't a bad smell, but it's like kind of herbal, but factory luxury. I don't know if that made sense, but I really enjoyed this mask. I love the Main Choice products. The one thing I will say about them though is that they seem to have a lot of different lines and it can be confusing, but the good thing is that they have a hair quiz. I think that's the smartest thing they ever did because you can be on their website looking like, which product am I supposed to take? Um, and they're really helpful with that and I love their presence on social media too. So, the main choice. Let me show this to you. Yes. I went ahead and bought that whole line on Black Friday. Okay, the next thing, oh my gosh. I am obsessed with Sotanicals. I'm always talking about Sotanicals. People probably like, does she use anything else? I love Sotanicals. Sotanicals was like my first natural hair company that was like a step up. You know how I feel like we all kind of started with Back in the day, we had the Cantu products. We had, there were some products that all of us were using. And this was the first jump into me trying to just up my game of products. <laughs> and I still use them, I still love them. I have a box dedicated just to Sultanicals. But as far as the natural hair empties for this video, this is the Can't Believe Is Not Butter or Butter. Can't Believe Is Not Butter. I don't know how you say that. <laughs> but it says a moisturized style for coils and kinks. And just the fact that they have the word coils and kinks on the front of their product. I knew, I know it was for me. I was like, that's for me. That's for me. But... This has a mango seed butter, shea butter, cashew oil. Now, immediately when you hear butter, you think it's gonna be a butter, but this is like a cream. So, um, you can kinda see the texture. I was just over it at this point. That's why I was like, this is an empty. And after a while, one thing I have noticed with Sotanicals is that I had a bad batch of Sultanicals. I've ordered tons of Sultanicals, but there was one time, I think it was the Fro Despair um, one. It was like a, in a green bottle. Um, I'll put it on the screen if I can find it and remember. <laughs> but that one came and it was like, oh, it was like something is wrong with this one. I had to throw it away. I was upset and I think I bought a liter size. But other than that, I haven't had any problems with Sotanicals. But after a while, like, Sotanicals is the brand that you need to be aware of the shelf life on this. Because once that shelf life is hit, you need to, you need to get a new one. Yeah, so. And the crazy thing is that I have two of these in my empty. So this... I guess this is a staple product for me. And this one is cleared out. This one is cleared out. So like I wiped that thing. Yes. And so I used this after um, I've been doing, trying to be really good about my leave-ins, but before I was being good about the leave-ins, I would use this to layer under my butter. So this would be like, 
kind of a leave-in detangler situation for me. Um, but oh my gosh, I I love this. I I've been trying new products, but this was definitely a staple. And the next thing, since we're talking about sotanicals, I have the Hibiscus Hair Healer Healthy Scalp Therapy Mask. And this one is made with hibiscus, ama, and carrot seed oil. Like the combinations that they have, mind blowing. I am just always so impressed. Sotanicals does a great job about seasonal hair care as well. They always have a winter hair care line. They have a summer hair care box. And I love those because I just, I feel like the brand is pretty much providing something that I need at that moment. And back in the day, I don't think they do it now, but back in the day when you would get one of their kits, it would be like a PR box kind of kit. And it made me feel special. I remember one of their summer kits, they had, it wasn't a beach ball. They had bubbles and the little confetti stuff. And I was just like, oh my gosh. But in terms of price, I feel like all of these products, unfortunately, are a little um, pricey. They really are. So if you have seen any of my natural hair empties that you like so far, Go to their Instagram pages, go to their web pages, and sign up for their products. Most of these companies are still considered small, so they do have text alerts. So they'll text you and just be ready. At this point, you just need to make some kind of little fun for your hair, especially if you do it alone. But back to the Sotanicals hair mask. This empty empty yes and this one smelled so good this was the hibiscus hair healer and this one um it is anti-inflammatory so yes um the ingredients purified water infused with hibiscus leaves aloe juice i really think my hair likes aloe I really do because it responds very well to aloe products because I'm a plant. Okay. Any more sultanicals? Yes. Oh my gosh. I have one more. This is another, this is a deep conditioning treat that says it has low protein. Again, this is from sultanicals and this is their curl elastic deep conditioning treats. And it's so funny because on here it says why is this deep conditioner holy grail status like who wrote this this is amazing whoever did the copy for this yes so Santa Cruz. and it has water aloe vera juice again like what okay I see what y'all doing so I have a little bit left but this is I can shoot I can still use this okay so don't get me y'all I know this is a natural hair empties but you know I damn near use the whole thing okay all right so it's an empty today and you know I need all my coins so I will be saving that for my one little three strands of hair <laughs> my next thing you I don't know if you can kind of see a theme that conditioners and deep conditioners have been my empties so i don't know if they need to make the deep conditioners in a larger size but i go through conditioners and i just think that's a part of being natural like you don't go through as many shampoos as you do your deep conditioners and conditioner but the next one is the tea tree tingle conditioner from trader joe's i talk about this one all the time it is $3.99. Yes, you heard me correctly. $3.99. And, and if you have not watched my winter hair care video, I will link that in the card and below. I talk about this conditioner and my hair loves it. And I'll be honest, Trader Joe's, I was like, that's not for me. But $3.99, the price is literally a steal. It's a steal because these other um, companies, they start at like $8.99 is probably the cheapest I've seen for certain products. 
but yeah so this not only well i say it smells oh it has that peppermint i mean it's tea tree and peppermint so it has like a oh kind of smell but it's still somewhat comforting so i highly recommend this go to a trader joe's i use stock up and i use this to pre poo my hair like this is my go-to for pre pooing my hair so yes this is old this next product this is old i don't even know the last time i used this i'm not even gonna open it because i don't you know this needs to go in the trash but it's a it's an empty for the most part and this is the cantu deep treatment mask now um you know we have mixed feelings about can't too miss can't too we have mixed feelings about but i do think can't too that's one of those companies that have their <sighs> do i want to use the word legendary they're classic very classic company when I was transitioning, because I transitioned for like a whole year until I cut my ends off because I just, yeah. I don't even know where those photos are. I'll try to get them one day. But um, I feel like Cantu was one of the first things I tried. And before I became a natural hair influencer, I was literally just sticking to things that were recommended to me by natural hair stylists. And at the time, which was a long time ago, they were recommending the Cantu. So, yeah. Now, before I go on to the rest of my empties, I would like to take a break, remind you to like this video if you have not subscribed to me. Definitely consider subscribing. I have vlogs, I have product reviews, and natural hair tips make sure you follow me on instagram at curls with kia i will put that on the screen as well as below but i want to take this time before i finish to share with you three businesses that i i welcome them to pretty much share their products with me free of charge so I can share it with you. And these are, are these all black owned businesses? I think they are, but let's just go into those really quickly. Now the first one is called Soaps for the Soul. And it was sent in this bag, this bag, super cute. I love pink. So I just knew something nice was gonna be in here. Um, and when it was sent to me, their owner sent me a handwritten note. I'm not going to put it all of it up here, but cute little note. And then some information about her business. So it looks very nice. Um, they have bath salts, body scrub, clay mask, and body butters. And again, they're called Soaps for the Soul. I'll put their information up here. And she also gave me a business card with their TikTok, their Instagram, and website. Now she sent over some body butters for me. And the first one is the Seeing Green Body Butter. I've already opened and played with all of this stuff, but um, it was packaged up in bubble wrap. It came quickly, the shipping. I don't know if she had a plug at the shipping place, but it came very quickly. So this is the Seeing Green Body Butter right here. And it, smells really good i'll have to put the information on the screen about what is in this but it is soft it's packaged nicely and i am impressed by the smell it melts right into the skin like this okay i will be using this i already started using some of them but i really like this and also inside is the 
You see me body butter. You see me, you see me boo. Yes. So I don't know, actually I like the seeing green smell better. This one, I don't know what scent this is. It actually smells like a, like a whipped icing. It smells good. <laughs> so I don't wanna, you know, get it too close to my mouth because yes. Now the next thing that they sent that I am interested to try is the I'm Glowing Turmeric Clay Mask. So I will go ahead and use this. Let me show you the texture. It has a light smell, but you know, we love turmeric over here, okay? So with this, it says the turmeric mask. It just says apply um, after cleansing the face, apply clay mask on dry skin. Concentrate on any problem areas you have. Leave mask on for 20 minutes and then rinse mask off and apply moisturizer. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And when I do that, I will let y'all know. But soaps for the soul. Thank you for trusting me to share about your company. And I love it, girl. Keep it up. Keep the business up. The next thing is from Nora Hair Care Products. So here we go, Nora Hair Care Products. And she sent over their shampoo the, from the Moisture Collection, the Yes Shampoo. It says hair will be more manageable, fuller, and shinier with every use and is safe for color treated hair. I've seen one of my curl friends use this and um, she has color in her hair. Hey, black girl curls, bye. Hey, Shalanda Boo. And I actually, I'll go ahead and link her content to this so you can see her review on these. Um, and also, so I have the shampoo and the conditioner. So thank you for sending that over. And the bag is super cute. And she also sent over their leave-in spray. So you definitely want to check out Nora. It says, see, I knew it was in honor of her mom, but I just wanted to get it correct. It says, in honor of my mom, Nora's Yes Leave-In Conditioner helps add moisture and shine to your hair without product buildup. So, you know, we love some leave-in spray now. It smells good. It has a, a light scent. I think these are really good. I've heard great things about them. And then the next thing she set over was their serum. In honor of my mom. I think that's so sweet that all of this is in honor of her mom. And this says always do a patch test 24 hours. And then this is their regrowth serum. And you should massage your scalp after application for one or three minutes and then use three to four times a week. So this is a nice collection that she has. Last but not least, she sent over a mask. And we always need masks. I hope y'all are paying good attention to what's going on out in the world you're masking up you're staying safe you know you're doing what you need to do and on to the last small business before i go ahead and move on to the rest of the natural hair empties is liz luxuriant and i am excited to share with you what she sent me over and just a look like super cute and I have tried some of these products so the first thing I tried was their leave-in um, I did think that it was hydrating as far as the smell the smell smells herbal it does but I like that over here I just want to know if you work okay um, so for this one 
oh my gosh, this is why I love it. Because the first ingredient is organic aloe leaf juice. So again, my hair loves aloe products. And then the next thing she has is their thick, healthy hair growth oil. So here is this. Now the next thing I have used, this is their Cocoa Lava Shea Butter. And I have used this. I've been using this on my body and I will say that I'm a fan. I will say compared to the other ones, it is whipped, but this you kind of have to, so I have tools on my finger. I go ahead and just put my thumb in it to get some out and see, it just comes out easily. It's smooth and I love butters that just hydrate into the skin and it smells absolutely delicious. The last thing she sent me was their Sweet Island Blast Butter. And I see why she sent me this little sample because this is the good stuff right here. This is the money maker. Mmm. Oh my. You know that song? I can do this for hours. Sorry y'all, I'm not a singer, but. Oh my gosh, this smells so good. I'm trying to figure out what she used in this. I, the great thing about all of this is that she created a code for me to share with you. It is Curls with Kia, and you can get 15% off on these products. Okay, Liz, I like these, Liz. Yes, let's see. Mm. It's such a smart thing to send influencers products so they can try and then they fall in love and then they tell everybody about it. And they also may do some free content for you. So yes, if you're a small business, definitely just go ahead and just eat that charge, get the word out, help let people help you get the word out as well because Liz Luxuriant, I'm on board girl. I am on board. Now back to the natural hair empties. I have a few left for you and I am going to share my favorite. Oh my gosh. If you know me, you know it is nature's blessing. Oh my gosh, nature's blessings. Look at this y'all. I'm playing no games. No, like you can see me. No games on this. Oh my gosh, so this is what I use for my scalp care. Whenever I feel like my scalp is getting a little weird and it's not time for wash day yet, I will use nature's blessings. And you can see that I don't know why, I just have a habit of smelling things because, yeah. But you can see two, and to be honest, I probably went through three. My fiance uses this, I have her hooked on it, and the price, it is $5. It's $5. If y'all watching that, it doesn't mean raise your price, but I'm just saying, it's an affordable product that I use for scalp care. Now, I believe it is a pomade because I've talked about this so many times and you can use it for a long list of things, including, um, it says for dry skin and chapped lips, but I, again, I use it on my scalp. Another natural hair empty is hair paint wax. I also have a code with them, but this is the red color. So I did try red a while ago. Um, since then, I believe they have rebranded their um, products. So they have some new things out on their website last time I went, but hair paint wax, ugh, I've been rocking with them since the start. And I do have a coupon code for you, discount code. 
So you can go ahead and try it yourself. There is some transfer on this. So if you prepare by having towels, by wrapping your hair when you go to sleep, you will be good. It's something fun to do. It helps you not be as bored with your natural hair. So I would definitely use them again, but there's so many other um, hair paint waxes and gels to use that I like a little better but if you like it definitely use my code and I will put that on the screen now I feel like this video has been super long so if you are still here thank you please subscribe to the channel support if you think about it I am a small black business if you think about it so I would appreciate your support. <laughs> Those were my natural hair empties. And now I have the products that I won't be using anymore. So let me go ahead and take my glasses off for this one. You know, get myself together because the library is about to be open because we are about to read some people. And if these brands are ever watching, you know, I'm still open to collaboration. It's just that particular product that I'm not a fan of. So let's get started. I'm gonna start with my beloved Sotanicals because they know that it is all love. But I was not feeling the Twist Assist Supernatural Fragralistic Stress-Free Alpha Ferocious twisting cream now you know red flags all over the place because i can't even say the daggone thing so i don't know what the branding or the intention was for this product but i i will show you how much i use um well i can't get this one open wait i used about maybe a little bit over halfway um this product my hair just was not agreeing with it first of all it's like you kind of have to mix it up before um you use it on your hair because it had some kind of oil or something was like sitting on top of the white product not quite sure what that was but um it's saying that this is a game changer yes i do believe that it helps with people who are interested in twisting their hair but I like to layer my moisture on and um, I really try to focus on sealing the moisture in. And this is the not really do it for me, but I love Sotanicals, so no hard feelings at all. The next thing, oh, I like this y'all, I'm gonna sit this here. This must be my pile of almost empty, but not quite, so. But that was Sultanicals so too. Um, two things that I'm... I don't even know why I bought this. This is from ORS Curls Unleashed. This is their leave-in conditioner style. This was not for me. I, I think the reason I even started using the ORS Curls products was because someone who used to do my hair would use them. And my hair always looked good. So I decided to purchase some other ones from it. And I mean, knowing me, I'm a twist out girl. So what was I doing with a curl jelly? I don't know what I was trying to do. But I'm not going to be using this. I don't necessarily have the time to go ahead and try something out. So this is a no for me. The next no is from Sultanicals. Their vice it's called, excuse me. The next one is from Sultanicals. It is their Sprout Rice Vitamin Butter Shampoo. My hair didn't like it. The first ingredient, I can't even really say it, which is not like Sultanicals, um, but I believe this had rice water in it. Yeah, it has brown rice, organic rice, black rice. My hair was not feeling the rice. So I do know that that works well for some people, but I don't really necessarily think the rice water works for me. 
and I just have so many great things to try and I have so many different methods that have been successful for me that if my hair is not really feeling it it's going to take me a lot to go back and try it again so just saying I didn't like that and then I had an opportunity to work with a company called the sage witch and they have a deep conditioner mask actually people have been saying that they love this mask and I will say that I used this mask to pre-poo and it was working out the main thing that I had a problem with is that I personally did not like the scent of this product yeah i don't know who is supposed to smell like but i don't think i want to smell like this very nice company but i was also confused about their branding because it seemed like they started reaching out to more diverse communities however their page still doesn't reflect that so I was just really confused like is the strategy to reach out to black and brown women and they share on their page but they don't share us on their page I I something about that made me feel uncomfortable but this was a gifted product and I told them that I would test it out and you know, I tested it out and it was okay, but I did not like the smell. Um, I will go ahead. Well, no, I, you know, I don't want to put out the people who use this, but just, you know, do your hashtag research if you really want to know. Um, this product it is vegan, organic and natural. So if that's something that you are looking for, definitely go ahead and look for it. Again, it's not bad, it just wasn't for me. And I'm gonna go ahead and stop right there. I feel like I've been talking forever, but if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, consider subscribing. Let me know down below what you would like to try. Was there anything you were shocked by? Was there anything that, you know, you agree that you would not use that? Let me know. And until next time, bye.